Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a completely updated single wide. I've been talking a lot about manufactured homes as an affordable housing option, but I've only really been focusing on new construction. Last week I saw a comment from a viewer that more or less said, what about existing homes? Well, sir, you make a very good point. Buying an existing manufactured home can be a great affordable option, especially right now when new manufactured homes have a fairly extensive backlog. This is a way you might be able to find a deal if you can locate a floor plan you like and are open to doing a few cosmetic updates yourself. You can potentially find yourself in a nice home faster and for less. The downside is there's more work involved, but as long as you're okay with that, it can be a good option. To give you an example of what's possible, I'm gonna take you through a 1994 14 by 66 single wide that was recently updated. Before the update, not one thing had been changed since it rolled out of the factory 27 years ago, so it was definitely time to give it a bit of attention. The changes made were fresh paint, new floors, new baseboards, new skirting, and a new deck. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the updated single wide. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom with a split layout. So we've got a bedroom up here. We've got two bedrooms at the other end. Then we've got the kitchen living room in the middle. What I'm gonna do is take you through a section. We'll talk about what's been changed, what I like about it, and why I think this works as an affordable housing option in the current manufactured home market. The biggest change on this home from a literal standpoint is the deck. So you can see this thing is absolutely massive. And the idea was to have three different sections. So you've got the sun section here. You've got the covered lounge area here. And then at the end is the dining area and barbecue. The deck almost extends end to end of the house. It doesn't quite make it to the end on this side, but it does go to both doors, which is great because you come out and you've got this entire outdoor space to enjoy. Outdoor space on an older manufactured home is a way that you can add to the usable square footage. So this home is 14 feet wide, not quite as big as some of the new 16 wides we've got today. So what did they do? They added more outdoor space, like this covered section on the deck. Right now it's raining, but I'm still able to be outside. So if 924 square feet, which is what this house is, isn't quite enough space, don't forget you can expand the outdoor living space because a lot of the older manufactured homes will have just two sets of steps going in. And changing that is an opportunity to make the livable foot print bigger. Let's check out the inside of this home. So right inside the front door, you come into the living room. Back up a little bit. So as you can see, this is a 14 wide, but that's a lot of space for a living room still. It's surprisingly open in here. So off the living room, you've got the bar stools there going into the kitchen dining room on your left you'll notice the new floors that were put in all the way through the baseboards you can see just to the left of the fridge and the paint color that was the only three things that were done to the inside of this house the cabinets are original and not much else has really been changed but it does make a big difference in the feel of this home so this doesn't feel like a 1994 by any means so you come down the hallway you've got washer dry on the left bathroom on the right continue down this is the third bedroom this is the smallest of the three and then at the end of the home is the main bedroom that's a king bed for reference so that's why it's eating up so much of the room closet a nice view out that window One of the downsides with the older homes is a lot of them did have this long hallway that we've kind of gotten away from with the new layouts. So a lot of the new layouts will have bedrooms right off the living room and that just eliminates that hallway we just went through because people don't really like it. So if you are looking for an older home to update, that's something you gotta watch out for. So here's another look at the living room from this side. There's seating right now for six people, which is great. And here's the second bedroom. So as you can see with a little bit of an update, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a 1994 single wide. 
With a quick update, this 1994 single wide has become a very livable option. The new floors were put in, the walls were painted, and the baseboards were put on, and all of a sudden it's comparable to something that you're going to get new off the lot. The main differences I see between this and something new is the hall that I mentioned. A lot of the new floor plans get away from that hallway, so that's a definite bonus of new. The second thing is the lighting. It's going to be really easy to put in pot lights at the factory, probably cost you around $50 per light, and that just adds light to the living room. We'd have more in the kitchen. It's more of a chore to do after the fact on a house like this. The third thing is the size. So if you're looking for an older home, you're going to have a hard time finding a 16 wide, 18 wide, or 20 wide because they're relatively new. And that does make a big difference in the overall feel of the plan. However, saying that, I'm in a 14 wide right now. This home is 924 square feet and it feels plenty spacious. You've got a fairly big living room. It's enough space. And like I mentioned, you can add space on the outside with extra living space or a covered porch. Makes a big difference. All in all, I think this is a really good option that people might want to look at because you're going to pay less for an older home. And with a quick update, it becomes a really great option. There are potential deals around to fix up older manufactured homes. And of course, the more love it needs, the better the price should be. But don't bite off more than you can chew and get an inspection from a company familiar with manufactured homes. The home we saw today was out of date, but very well kept. So cosmetic changes made a big difference. Affordable housing is getting harder to come by, but I'm going to keep looking for different angles that will hopefully spark an idea or two. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufacturing home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.